Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. So I have a bonus video for you. It's going to be a little bit of a training video. My friend Brett from Brett and Brad here on YouTube, they are also independent Sensi consultants. Brett had reached out to me and he was asking me a couple of questions and it kind of just like got my wheels turning. So I wanted to record this for my team and for those of you out there that want to sell Sensi, I will leave my stuff down below. If you don't watch my channel, you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Jackie. I am just south of Detroit. Um, I'm an independent Sensi consultant. I work full-time um, in long-term, short-term care, which is considered a nursing home. And I sell YouTube, or I sell YouTube, I sell Sensi, and I have my YouTube channel is what I meant to say. So a couple of things that when I was talking to him kind of um, really got me thinking, and so I wanted to put this all in a video and I'm going to title it How to Be Good at Sensi. I was going to title it How to Sell Sensi, but I think I want to put How to Be Good at Sensi. I don't know. We'll see. First things first, you are unique. There is only one you. There's only one me. I am the only Jack South of Detroit that sells Sensi with the YouTube channel that I have found. Now you can go out there and try and find me. But what I mean by that is I am the only Jackie McManus. Um, I am the one that lives here in Michigan. You get it. I'm unique to myself. So I try to brand myself and show you and share me. And then you guys either A, relate to me. You come back. We have the same nose for fragrance. You enjoy the same things that I do. Or you come to me for entertainment because I can sometimes be funny. Um, but what I mean by that is you be you. Brand yourself to yourself. Do not compare yourself to other people. The comparison game is a deadly trap to get involved in, especially when you're doing uh, direct sales. A lot of people out there are ugly in regards to that. But if you enjoy the product and you know that there's actually a tangible product, like for example, I'm selling Scentsy. I'm selling this to you. And by the way, Oh, um, Kiku and Coconut came in the whiff box this month. Amazing. It's $8. I'm sharing with you a little bit about myself, a little bit about what I like, what's in my home. You see my Scentsy mostly in my background. When we get to 5,000, one of you is going to win an air purifier. So don't try to be somebody else. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting inspiration from people. There's nothing wrong with looking up to people, but for the most part, people want to trust somebody and they want to become friends with somebody. We live in a world where a lot of things are behind the scenes. Um, a lot of us don't go out as we used to. People are just now starting to travel. And if I sneeze, <coughs> like I've told you in the last couple of videos, my allergies are crazy, and we've got a lot of smog from sm uh, fires from Canada and Upper Michigan. Excuse me. Um, people want to connect to a community. So if you have something to offer to people, if you're outgoing, if you have a personality that you can walk into a room and you can talk to everybody in that room, you are unique. There's not a lot of people that can work a room. I am what's called an outgoing introvert. And what I mean by that, and it took me a long time to figure it out, I'm extremely friendly. I'm extremely outgoing. I never meet a stranger. I talk to everybody in the public world. Um, if people pass me, I say hello. I've started complimenting people because I like it when people compliment me. What if it's the only nice thing that you've heard that day? For example, this isn't very nice, but when I was driving home today, I came to a complete stop at a stop sign because that's the law, and the lady flicked me off. Don't know what I did. She must have been having a really bad day. So instead of being like, oh my God, and following her and flicking her off herself, I literally said to myself, she probably had a really rough day like I did. It is what it is. Who cares? Did it hurt me? No. She flicked me off. I laughed. And I came into the driveway and told Joe, this lady literally flicked me off. But what I mean is people are looking for a community. They're looking for a place to fit in. Growing up, um, I've shared a little bit about uh, my experience, but one of my pastors always talked about love and acceptance. And that's something that I try to 
portray with people around me. What you see is what you get. And people have said that to me that watch my YouTube channel. They have either A, watched me on YouTube first and met me finally in person or people that know me in real life. They always say you're exactly like you are on screen. I try to be real. I try to be exactly what I feel like people need or what I need from other people. So to go back to the outgoing introvert, I realize that I like to come home and be alone and recharge. I have to do that because I take on a lot of empathy for people around me. I take on a lot of feelings. So it's okay to not always want to be turned on and on for other people. You don't have to be happy 24-7. But when people are looking for that community, and Sensi might be that gateway for you, be that for people. Be you so people have someone to come to. And in the end, you start selling Sensi, they might come along with you on the journey. They might start selling Sensi with you. I've met a lot of people through Sensi. A lot of my good friends, people that I know I can go to because of this fragrance community. It started with wax and warmers. If you watched my video a couple of weeks ago with my superstar director, Melissa Gratz, who is one of my dear friends, people are looking to fit in. They just want to be a part of something. We have all this cancel, cancel culture. Everybody is offended. No one's PC, politically correct. It, it just, we live in a world that is just so, and now I'm preaching. I'm on a soapbox and we're talking about how to be good at Sensi. The other thing is, Show people how you use Scentsy. If you have like the Scentsy Go, which I don't have one in front of me because it's in my car. Like I had a coworker get in my car today. We went to pick up lunch and she was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this is how you use it. I have Scentsy at work, the sprays. Like if you go to the bathroom and you don't want it to, you know, whatever. Show people how you use Scentsy. Show them in your home with real pictures, not just graphics. Now, sometimes when we're showing something, when it's coming out, I get that everybody shares the graphic to take pre-orders, but in your everyday life, don't spam people with graphics and selling Scentsy. Show them how you use it. So be strategic. So for example, a couple of weeks ago, I went to post a moisture stick from Bath & Body Works and I had my Scentsy air purifier right behind it. So everybody's looking at that moisture stick and I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. It makes my skin feel so soft. It's so moisturizing. But subliminally, my air purifier was also in the background. I've done that with a lot of different things. Um, maybe like limited time offer. I might show a picture of, I'm trying to think of examples like, oh, my um, cousin sent me some ducks for our new Jeep because Jeeps get ducked. It's a whole thing. It's awesome. She sent me an Abraham Lincoln duck. So if you follow me on Instagram, oh, my thing just, my bracelet like just slid off my arm. Um, she sent me a Abraham Lincoln. Actually, she sent me presidential ducks. Oh, it broke. Well, that's terrible. Um, so I showed a picture, but looking back, I should have had like a wax bar back there too in the background so that, you know, people would have had to look at that. So be authentically you share Sensi in a non cringy way. Don't just be like, Hey, buy this. Now my YouTube channel is mostly hauls and me showing it to you and putting my links down below because that's how I use it. I love to watch Scentsy hauls, but I also am showing you like my favorite fragrances, but I'm talking like your Facebook, your Instagram, show people authentic use of Scentsy. Oh, I know. Um, when I go camping with my sister and her girls, um, I always take my Scentsy Eeyore buddy and I'll show you my bed with my Scentsy Eeyore buddy on there. And people are like, oh my gosh, where'd you get that Eeyore? He's not available right now. But I could say we have Scentsy buddies. Like these are things that I carry with me. I always take a Scentsy buddy on a trip. Show people how you really use it. And honestly, everything else will come into place because if you're sharing that, if you've earned an incentive, if you've earned an award, don't forget to put out the income disclosure statement. Don't set yourself up for failure, but share that. So like when I go on my trips, I show you guys on my Instagram and on my Facebook. I'm proud of that. It's a lot of hard work. You earn those trips and I want to share that with you. So that's a little bit of tidbit on how to be successful at Sensi. Be you. Show people that you care, that you're there. You're not just trying to get money from them and just sell something to them. Actually be there for people. Listen. So this week 
my friend and boss, she's my boss, but she's my friend too. She said she heard something the other day about being either you want to hug, you want to be heard, or you want help. And it's really resonated me, with me this week. So you can apply that to your Sensi business or your Sensi world. If people come to you for a problem and you become that friend for them, you can say, do you need a hug? Do you need help? Or do you need to be heard? And you build that rapport with them. And then they're like, oh my gosh, your house smells good. Your car smells good. All of that comes behind. It takes a while, but it is worth it. If you spoil the crap out of your customers, I do it more in person because I have the opportunity and it's not expensive to mail things to them. Do it if you're able to do it. If you're not able, it's okay. Get a scent circle and share it with a friend. I've also done lately, I got new business cards which have my face on it. So I br I'm branding myself with my Scentsy and I've, got, I've gotten, well, I'll show you. I bought a whole stack of scent circles and I literally put my label across here and I've been giving these to my waitresses, to people who have helped me out in the wild, um, cashiers. The other day on my purse, I had a Scentsy Buddy Clip hanging from it and the girl said, oh my gosh, I like that. And I said, well, here, here's my link if you ever want to shop it. You literally are planting seeds. Um, I've also learned to get people's phone numbers. I can send my link right to them. I can follow up with them. Um, and when they ask me what I'm doing, instead of saying, oh, I sell Scentsy, I've been telling people that I am in the business of in, um, inspiring and empowering people because that's really what it is. I'm using this vehicle to help bring awareness to like mental illness and anxiety and depression through fragrance because fragrance is so powerful. You are creating scent memories. I could get off on a whole nother tangent, but the biggest thing is be you, show yourself authentically, join groups that you care about. If you're a horse person, join a horse group. If you are a mom and you want to do a mom to mom, join a mom to mom group. Show up authentically, show people that you care, and the Sensi will come along right behind it. So if you want to come along with me on my journey, I will link my join link down below, my uh, shop, my party link down below. I hope you guys are doing really good. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a different video. It's a bonus video this week because I was so inspired by my friend Brett. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to share a little bit of that because he was asking like, like, earning incentives, which I can do a whole nother video on that if you guys are interested, like what I've done in the past. And I wouldn't mind sharing that with me with you. Let me know if you're interested and I will talk to you soon. Bye.